brought to you by the Asphalt Emulsion Manufacturing Association, or EMA, the do's and don'ts when using asphalt emulsion. There are four primary do's and don'ts when using asphalt emulsion, and these are optimal temperature, minimize transportation, spot checks for quality, and the proper blending or mixing of asphalt emulsion. When we're thinking about the optimal temperature, there are two things to consider. The first is storage, and the second is placement in the field. For the storage of asphalt emulsions, you want to store the asphalt emulsion at the proper temperature, which ranges from 110 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, or 43 to 60 degrees Celsius, and that temperature range depends on what type or what grade of asphalt emulsion you're using. It is very important to avoid significant temperature swings during the storage. You want to keep the temperature as stable as possible. When placing in the field, you don't want the emulsion to approach freezing, and we define freezing as less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit or less than 10 degrees Celsius and falling. And on the other end of the spectrum, we don't want the emulsion to approach boiling. And we define approaching boiling as greater than 185 degrees Fahrenheit or greater than 85 degrees Celsius and rising. And that's because if the asphalt emulsion freezes or boils, it cannot be restored. The second do's and don'ts includes minimizing transportation. You do not want to have excess transportation in trucks or other vehicles of your asphalt emulsion. You want to minimize the transportation. And this includes you don't want to excessively store asphalt emulsion, and you don't want to subject that asphalt emulsion to excessive miles. So when you're hauling your asphalt emulsion in a semi, like in this picture, you don't want that semi driving all around and putting excess miles with asphalt emulsion in the tank. And this is for both construction sites, so for performance in the field, and also when you take samples for QC or AQ testing. Finally, when thinking about transportation, you don't want to excessively pump or recirculate the asphalt emulsion. So in general, you do need to pump asphalt emulsion on and off of transport vehicles, so you want to minimize how many times you place or remove the asphalt emulsion from the transportation unit. And this is because excessive movement or excessive storage can permanently damage the asphalt emulsion. The third do's and don't when using asphalt emulsion is to perform spot checks for quality. Because asphalt emulsion will be transported and stored, you want to run proper quality control and quality assurance tests. And this is before either using transported or stored asphalt emulsion, because these QC QA tests will allow you to recognize if there is a problem before the placement of the asphalt emulsion in the field. The final do and don't when using asphalt emulsion is to ensure proper blending. First of all, you never want to mix anionic and cationic asphalt emulsions. Even when you're mixing either two cationic or two anionic asphalt emulsions, you need to recognize that you can significantly change the properties. And that's because different grades of asphalt emulsions have different properties. So while asphalt emulsions all look very similar when coming either out of a distributor truck, in this picture, or out of a pug mill when using a mix application, the actual properties of asphalt emulsion can be very, very different. So in conclusion, you do want to keep your asphalt emulsion and place your asphalt emulsion at optimal temperatures. You do want to minimize transportation. You do want to have spot checks for quality, both from storage and after transportation. And you do want to follow proper blending procedures. So these are just four do's and don'ts when using asphalt emulsion. And if you're interested in more information, please call us at 630-942-6579 or visit us at 
A-E-M-A dot org.